Referee's taking a very close look at this one. And it's over! Tim Barnett knocks out Adam Ventry! Really, in my head, I knew that I didn't train properly for it, so it was kind of, it was kind of like, yeah, you didn't do enough, you didn't train enough, you, you didn't do everything right, so that's why you lost. I knew deep down that I really hadn't trained properly for it, and that it was a risk and all like this, so I was all right, and then, come, then I knew I had to change everything and come back and be a different fighter the next time. Some of the best people in the world have lost and come back and been great, do you know what I mean? But um, it's, it's, it's a way of life, you've got to have losses. He's just working, he's doing everything he's told, turning up on time, looking really focused for this fight, so we good to see what happens on the night. He's really switched it round this time where he, he knows he's had to wear it a couple of times in the past. He's missed weight, he has, he's turned up with a lot of body fat on him and stuff. This time he's really focused on his strength and conditioning and his dieting. He's always had the skill, but it's been that extra little push on the strength and conditioning side of things to get keep pushing right through the fight. I've seen a massive change now in the last the last now you can hear him moaning in the background already. In the last three, few months he's had some really big wins, got found out by Tim because he took a chance at going up to heavier weight. And that just really it opened his eyes to what he needs to fix outside of the gym. Um his life outside of fighting he fixed, his training he's fixed and um, and he's just improved everywhere and he's there's a there's a different um vibe to him at the minute like he'd normally be a moaning bastard this time in camp um but he's happy every day he's not broken his weight's dead low and um he's just ready to roll really the similarities that we've both went through is when we lost we had looked at ourselves and really took a big look at ourselves and we've done exactly the same thing. We went to John Moore's uni, we got testing and we got lock, looked after by the like the best in the world, the best in Europe. So um you look at him now and he's like he's not fat no more. He's like he's ripped to the gills mm. and he's worked hard and, and I did exactly the same thing. So um yeah, both got found out in the echo and he and then the next fight, I won, and he's going to do exactly the same thing. Yeah, it's relaxed that. Where are you? The shoulders, isn't it? Not bad either. You okay? Yeah. Who's the biggest diva in the gym? Uh, there aren't many. Like, everyone turns into a bit of a diva in the fight camps, like, by the end, nearly. Do you turn into a diva? Nah. You've always been down to it. Yeah. I've got, I've got no diva demands. Go on, demand anything. No, listen. More comics. Yeah. You hand up. Being a sports therapist, you tend to be a mental therapist by default sometimes, and you'll sometimes when the lads are in here away from the pressure of all their mates and their coaches and stuff and their, their events and their media, sometimes they'll just tell you how they really feel. And probably a conversation we had over the last month with Adam was when he absolutely 100% spoke the truth about his motivations and his attitude and the way he was over the last few fights. And it's the, I don't know what the right phrase to use is, but it was that maturing of a fighter that I saw where he expect, accepted responsibility for all his maybe um, areas where he wasn't as focused last few fights and the big difference this time is you've seen he's ticked all those boxes now you know he's ready for whatever comes next and both mentally physically emotionally he's probably the best I've ever seen I can't remember the last time he's put the graft in like this. The last three fights he won before, I think the three fights he won before Barnett and then the loss for Barnett, all four fights he was training half fast. Wasn't uh, coming in with the enthusiasm he normally does. He was going and doing different things instead of being in the gym all the time. And he, he just lost his focus on MMA. He fell out of love with MMA and 
think we have been uh, getting a getting a loss because you're a fire under your ass. And, like, you know what I mean? He was winning that fight. He was around and half up. We got caught with a few big shots off Tim and got put down. And if he would have had the fitness to go with the amount of heart he's got in that in that fight, he would have won. You know what I mean? He just never had the gas tank. If you look at look at his last few fights, he's got one of them rolling over. <laughs> he's got one of them rolling over his stomach. You know what I mean? You can see a little smiley face on his stomach there. He's got rolls in that. This fight, it won't be that. Be like the first ever time he's had a sick pack. Coming out the green room in a blue suit with my mean crew. Sipping on the bat blue. Yes. That dude with a bad attitude. Vocal like a fat dude, but I'm shaped like a frail nerd. Blowing smoke out the window, yelling foul words like hot diggers and giggity goo. Only weighing 145, but I'm bigger than you. I got a limp and I still feel quicker than you. They can't deal with a real ill lyrical dude. I'm in the booth spitting flames with the ship in my tooth. Hold it, I'm like a pimp. When he feeling his groove That tell a woman anything And she willing to do it I got my radar Okay y'all I'm ready to spray I got my AK Okay babe You ready to play I got my AR My AR I'm letting him rip Got a grenade launcher tongue Protected by my lips Ah, oh, got me feeling like Incredible Hulk My metaphysical physical Is a bottle of scotch This just a little bit I bet you think I'm giving a lot Even when I'm liquid I'm like a brick or a rock <laughs> We have new amateurs coming up, and they're young, and they want to try and kill us, really, because we're the old ones that have, that have been here for years, and they're trying to show off, really. Like one day he could be a striker, and the next day he comes down, and he comes in, and just trying to take you down. So you get unpredictable that way, and the shots that they throw are unpredictable because they haven't really learned everything yet. So they're just still learning and still throwing brand new shots in that they just learned, and from from other people, or they've been watching YouTube and seeing all on there, and they think I'm gonna throw them, see what I try and land on a throw. <laughs> Yeah. They're trying to basically they're trying to show off and show show that, why that, that, that they should be, yeah, and stuff like that. Really. For me, when I spar the pros, I'm trying to prove that I can stand with the pros and I'm at their level, and that there's not I'm not getting bullied by them. You know what I mean? I'm not like I'm not saying that they bully or nothing, but if I'm sparring and they're fucking getting the best of me everywhere, then I'm not ready to step up to pro. And when I start having more fair rounds, more even rounds, then that's when. It might, like for me personally, I know that I'm getting better and I can see me improving. So, like, if I from this time last year to now, me and Ved yeah, Sparrow, it's, it's completely it's different. It's more competitive, it's more, it's hard for both of us, but still winning. Like, <laughs> everyone wants a world title, so that's one of the goals. But I always want to be remembered for the person that would never back down and take the best fights. And what I've done, I've done that mostly for the rest of my career. I've took fights that most people wouldn't take at the stage that they're at. So, I'd rather be, I want to be known as the person that would never turn down a fight. Yeah. and put on exciting fights. I want to be one of them, a, a fighter where people say, oh, I want to watch him fight, I don't want to, I don't want to be boring, I don't want to rely on people, I want to make it all exciting for people.